Hey guys, I'm back uh, filming this video for the second time in the last two days. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me as I figure out this YouTube thing. <clears throat> I realized that the reason why my video sort of cut me off at the chin <clears throat> is that um, I was shooting in a 4 to 3 aspect ratio, but iMovie brought it in <clears throat> to the software as in, a, in widescreen. Um, because that's sort of the norm on YouTube right now, <laughs> and I didn't even realize that until yesterday when I was trying to edit this video. I realized, like, I would think, like, wh why is my chin so cut off? Like, I knew that I was close. I didn't think I was that close. How did I not see this in camera? And I realized sort of like, oh, wait, <laughs> this is a processing problem. So, yeah, I'm filming this video again. I'm zoomed out a little further. Um, I have attempted to put my camera in widescreen. We'll see if it actually works. Uh, the 60D, which is what I film with, isn't ideal for video, like there's no autofocus and there's certain settings that don't quite work in auto mode, which is what video is, so anyway, fingers crossed, we'll see. <clears throat> I am here because I wanted to film a video about my 2015 favorites. I know that I'm really late to the party because it's almost the end of January, but in my, you know, in, in my defense, I've literally been sick since before Christmas. It's been so frustrating and so exhausting. <laughs> it, it's been really hard to go back to work feeling so ill. Like, I just want to go back at it and get things done and, you know, be awesome. But, you know, it's all I can do to <laughs> keep myself at the office until the end of the day because I'm so tired. Anyway, I think I'm on the upswing, I hope. Knock on wood, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I figured even though it's late, I wanted to let you know about the things that I loved in 2015. So let's get started. Um, let's start with foundation. This will come as no surprise to you if you've been watching my blog, <laughs> but it would be dishonest for me to see to say anything other than uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation was my favorite in 2015. Um, <clears throat> I've reviewed it, I've done videos featuring it, um, and I just love it. You can see how much I've used. The shade is Y225, and the coverage is beautiful, the finish is beautiful, the lasting power is beautiful. The only thing that's not perfect is the color. It's a tiny bit dark and a tiny bit yellow for me, even though the, the, the yellow sort of corrects, counteracts the redness. You can see kind of a difference between my face and my neck, but I don't even care. It's just so beautiful. So when I replace this, and I will, um, I'm going to go for uh, the pinkier shade and see if that makes a difference. But if you haven't tried this, I seriously suggest it. it is, it's, it's so beautiful. My favorite thing about it, it isn't even the way it looks. It's how fast it is to apply. I just paint it on, buff, 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 and it just melts into the skin. None of this like stuffling, stippling and buffing for five minutes in the morning. It's just like boom, boom, go. Love it. Um, <clears throat> next is eyeshadow palettes, and you know that I'm an eyeshadow freak, eyeshadow addict, haha. -ha. Um, and so this, but this actually wasn't that difficult of a choice. My favorite eyeshadow palette of 2015 was Charlotte Tilbury's Vintage Vamp uh, Luxury Palette. It is so beautiful, you saw that I reviewed it. It's got these four shades, one is sort of a pinky purple um, uh, highlighting priming shade. You've got two sort of purpley, purpley shades here, purpley burgundy, and then like this beautiful antique gold glitter shade that I pop on uh, the ball of my lid and I'm actually wearing it now. Love it. I mean, I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, I got a lot of eyeshadow. Um, I think she has about nine eyeshadow palettes on the market right now. I have seven. <laughs> I know that's a lot, I know that's bad, but this one is my favorite. Uh, if I had to choose just one, it would definitely be this one. So if you haven't tried her eyeshadows yet, you should. Like her her quads in particular, they're just like buttery and beautiful and they blend like nobody's business and they're just amazing. They're a bit soft, so you do need to tap off your brush to avoid fallout. Um, I learned that the hard way, but little, if you learn them, they're good. A quick note, um, I find that the quality of these is different than the quality of the, like the one-offs that she released over the holidays those crease on me, so worth the wise. Um, I like the quads better. Love them. <clears throat> uh, next is more Charlotte Tilbury. I apologize. <laughs> it was a year that was difficult on my wallet, on my bank account, but my favorite contouring sort of face product was Filmstar Bronze and Glow. Now, I, don't, well, I don't highlight and contour every day. I don't have time, but when I do, this is by far my favorite product. Now, I mean, it's $80, which is ridiculous, even for me. Like, I like my high-end makeup. I like to buy things that are high quality that I love because I figure you typically get what you pay for. And this got the better of me. What can I say? Um, I've gone to Holt Renfrew a couple of times to have my makeup done, like, especially when Tilbury launched. Like, it was just, there were so many opportunities to get your makeup done. 
Um, and I've been with my husband for 10 years now and I wear makeup almost every day so he's seen me in a lot of different makeup looks and like he gives me compliments he's pretty good about telling me that I'm beautiful but the day when I came home wearing this after an appointment at Holt Renfrew he just couldn't get over himself he was like your makeup looks so good you just look so good You're so bronzy like Jennifer Aniston like he just couldn't get over how great my skin looked and it was this stuff I think I mean there was the foundation, the Wonder Glow, the combination, just she's really, really good at wonderful glowy skin, but I figured this was sort of the crowning glory. So I went back before long and purchased it. I figured if my husband freaked out, there must be a big difference. Like I wouldn't think that a contour shade that's not fully matte would work, but it just looks so beautiful. I just looked, I just looked glowy and slightly chiseled without looking too dramatic. Um, and, the, and the the highlight shade, I know it sounds cliche, but it really does give you that candlelight glow. It is so beautiful. So if the price tag makes you choke, I get it, I hear you, but it's worth it, I promise. Um, we're in for a slightly cheaper product now, <laughs> which is good. Um, my favorite mascara. Um, I actually had two this year because I always wear two at once. Um, my first favorite is Maybelline Lash Sensational. Usually I'm a bit of a drugstore snob, like I don't like things from the drugstore, but uh, Beauty Zine got me into this. Um, it's just got this great curved plastic wand, which I hear is quite similar to um, Benefit Roller Lash. I don't know because I haven't tried it, but that's what they say. And it just does a really good job of fanning out my lashes and lifting them and giving them lots of volume, which is wonderful. And most importantly, like in addition to giving me dramatic lashes, they don't, it doesn't flake or smear during the day, which is a total deal, a total deal breaker for me. So I love this. And the best thing about it is that it doesn't cost 40 bucks. Like, and I've spent money on mascara. I've worn Le Volume de, Ch de, de, Le Volume de Chanel and it's like $40 and it smears and flakes. You know, the lady at Chanel was like, it's just a high maintenance mascara. And I'm like, no, no, for $40, it needs to be perfect. This is pretty close to perfect. And like sometimes shoppers has it on for like three bucks. I'm pretty sure I paid $3 for this tube. So mm, you've got to give it a try. Uh, the one thing it's not amazing at is lengthening, um, so I do like to pair it with this. It makes it last even longer, but this is MAC Extended Play Mascara, and I think it's like $18, so it's not drugstore, but it's not bad. And it's got this tiny little wand, um, which is really good at sort of defining the lashes, um, but it's also really good at lengthening them. So it's sort of these two together are sort of the perfect combo in my books, and all together they're like barely 25 bucks. so win. Um couple of other makeup products. I've got another Charlotte Tilbury product again, I apologize, but my favorite blush of 2015 was uh, Chic to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in Love Glow. I didn't actually expect this to be my favorite. <clears throat> um, I typically really, really like sort of really cool tone berry sort of blushes. I find they make me look really doll-like and just healthy, and I love that look, but, and I have Love Glow, and I have this one, and I also have Sex on Fire, which is a lot warmer, and this ended up being my favorite. It's sort of like a, I think I've said this before, it's a more refined, more beautiful Nars, or, Nars orgasm. It doesn't have the same amount of glitter in it. It's more of a, a glow. Um, sort of, I, I take the outside circle, as she says, and I sort of work it up my cheeks like this, sort of my cheekbones. I am wearing it today, along with Filmstar Bronze and Glow, um, as I mentioned. And I then take my Real Techniques blush and sort of pop it in the middle and then work it onto the apples of my cheeks. And I just love it. Like, every time I put it on, I'm just sort of like... Mm, it's just beautiful like that beautiful healthy lit from within glow and so this was my favorite of 2015 50 bucks but you do get a lot of product and if you're a makeup freak like me like you'll never hit pan on everything that you own but you know if, if bang for buck is a thing for you this is a good bang for your buck so give it a try um, so that's it for Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> makeup products um, in terms of powder um, a good discovery for me this year, thanks to Jaclyn Hill, was the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. Um, it is good bang for your buck. Like, it's, I think, $40 for about 29 grams, which is way more than you get in the NARS powder. Um, and it's really, really, has this really beautiful sort of blurring soft focus effect. And I'd call it more of a sort of a velvet matte powder. So it's really good at setting my makeup, making it last. I prefer to do a tiny bit of a touch up on my nose in the middle of the day, but if I don't get to it, I'm okay with this powder. Like, my skin is, I, I would say, a combination. I do get shiny on my nose, and this does a pretty good job of controlling it, which is awesome. My, the only thing I don't love about this powder is that it's a little bit messy. I haven't quite mastered how to load my brush up properly without having it sort of poof everywhere, because it's very soft and very finely milled. 
but beyond that, it's a great product. Love it. Thank you, Jaclyn Hill. Um, one more makeup product. My favorite concealer of 2015 was um, a NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and this I use the shade Vanilla. I've gone through so many tubes of these, I've lost count, but I love it for covering spots and for covering under eye circles. Um, I do have to use it over a corrector. My favorite would be probably uh, Giorgio, Giorgio Armani uh, Master Corrector in pink. Right now, um, I'm using Bobbi Brown's corrector to try something cheaper. I like the Giorgio Armani better. Um, if I just use this alone over my circles, they look a bit ashy, but with a corrector, it's perfect. The coverage is perfect. The finish is gorgeous. Um, and when I sort of put it on and then like, blend it in with a beauty blender, it just looks amazing. I do have to set with the powder, otherwise it will crease, but I have no complaints about it otherwise. So it, it goes on with a doe foot applicator like this. Um, and I've heard that lots of people prefer sort of Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and I'm happy to try that, and I think, I think I probably will this year, but for this year, I had no complaints about this. I loved it. Um, favorite lip product. Lip products aren't really, haven't really been my deal. Like, I've been getting into them more lately, but to be honest, I just never have time during the day or I never think of update, like up, um, reapplying my lipstick. So it's not something that I think about as much as eyeshadow. I don't like, I, I like my eyes and that's the thing I like to focus on. But I so I had to think hard about this. I don't know if I have a standout favorite of 2015 for lip products, but I did really enjoy um, NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in Sex Machine. Um, I find that it's matte without being too matte or too drying. Um, it looks sort of classy because of the matte finish, and it lasts longer than something like a cream sheen from MAC. But the, co the, the, it's the color that gets me, it's just beautiful. It's sort of a my lips but better shade, and I really like this. This is probably what I reach for most often in the morning, so I guess that qualifies it as a favorite. <laughs> so I have a couple of tools I want to share with you. Um, Favorite eyelash curler, well, favorite one of my favorite discoveries, I guess, was the Shuamura Eyelash curl, Curler. And I know that a lot of you have been using this for quite a long time. It's nothing new. I had the Shiseido, I still have the Shiseido Eyelash Curler, but I, I used the Shiseido Eyelash Curler for years. I thought it was great. Um, it, I did find that it didn't quite reach to the outer corner of my eye. I would curl my lashes, and it didn't sort of curl the ends. I'd have this funny dent in the middle, which wasn't pretty, but I figured, ah, it's just the shape of my eye, that's how it goes. But I tried the Shuamura, and it fits my eye shape perfectly. So it lasts all day, gives my lashes great lift. Really glad I decided to bite the bullet and try this, even though I already owned an expensive eyelash curler. Worth it. Favorite brushes. Um, so the, what is this? The Sephora Pro Tapered Crease Brush. Love this. It's nice and fat with a tapered end, kind of like the Matte 224, but I think a bit bigger. And I can do like pretty much an entire eye look with this. It is perfect for covering my whole lid. It's perfect for the crease. It's perfect for blending. Like, what more can I say? Great discovery. It made me think that Sephora brushes are underrated. My other favorite discovery was the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Smudger Brush. And I was hesitant about spending like 40 bucks on this brush because it's just a pencil brush. Um, but I tried other pencil brushes or sort of really tight, dense brushes like this. And I found that they were either too pointy or too scratchy to do what I wanted. I particularly wanted this for um, applying and smudging uh, eyeshadow under the eye and smudging eyeliner. And it's perfect for that. And also some detailed crease work. Like when I did this look just now, I wanted to see if I could do a whole look with just these two. I applied the prime shade all of my lids with this. And then I applied <clears throat> either the smoke or the enhanced shade in my crease with this. And then to sort of deepen the crease, I took um, the darker shade. I'll just show you. I don't remember if it's smoke. Okay. It is the smoke shade, this one. I took this one and sort of carved my crease out with this brush and then blended it with this brush and it worked great. So it's great for detail work, defining the outer V, smudging uh, product under the, the lashes. Love it, no complaints there. Uh, yeah, um, and then a couple of skincare items, even though skincare isn't really my, my deal, I've been getting more into it this year just because having great skin makes such a difference in your makeup. So I still haven't figured out like the perfect skincare regime, I'm still like sort of looking for the best products, but two that I really enjoyed uh, were, were the Amore's, uh, Amore Pacific Enzy treatment enzyme peel, which is really beautiful. Uh, Tracy from Beauty Zine, sorry, Tracy from Beauty Reflections got me into it. It's this yellow powder that you pour into your palm um, and you work it into a lather. 
and it takes like all my makeup off if I use it at night. I mostly use it in the morning though, but it's this great micro exfoliant. It's really, really gentle, but you, I can feel as I rinse it off my face how smooth my skin is. And I really feel like it's made a difference. My skin's been looking pretty good lately, thanks in part to some work uh, by my acu acupuncturist to get rid of some of the hormonal breakouts on my chin. But I very, very, very uh, rarely suffer from non-hormonal breakouts. So that's probably in part a testament to this guy. Um, another product that I discovered late in 2015 but I've really been enjoying is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. Um, my skin is not dry but it is dehydrated so I picked this up and to sort of see what it would do. It is overpriced. I remember looking into it during the, the, the VIB sale this year in November and discovering that it seemed like this little pot was like better deal than the big one. I thought if I just wanted to get a bunch of it I'd get a bunch of these. Um, and that would actually be better bang for your buck than the big one. I don't know, maybe my math is off, but that's what it seemed like. So I tried the little one and sometimes, well, so far actually, I've just been putting it on at night and leaving it on like a night cream and I wake up and my skin is just like plumped and glowing and beautiful. So love this stuff and it smells good. I'll be continuing to purchase this. And I think that is it for my 2015 favorites. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm excited to see sort of what I discovered this year. I'm hoping to shop my stash a little bit more and spend my money on things more like, you know, travel. But we'll see. We'll see how long I hold out. Um, but I'd love, to like, I'd love to hear what you guys is what you guys found this year that you love, what your favorites were. Let me know in the comments. Share a blog post if you have it. I'd love to read it. Um, and yeah, thanks for hanging out with me this year. It's been really, really fun. Take care. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye.